Hey guys, I'm Catherine, and today I'm gonna to show you how to customize your terminal. Your terminal can do amazing things, and your display should show that. And so to go to your terminal, you can just go to Spotlight here, type in terminal, hit enter, and here it is, popped up beautifully. And so this is kind of boring, white background, black text. We wanna spice it up a little bit. So how do we do this? Well, how do you change anything inside of a Mac? Well, you go to the preferences. And so you can go terminal here, preferences, and boom, this little settings window pops up. And this is gonna be the key to customizing your terminal window. But this isn't it, there's another thing later on, which I will get to. And so say these are like, you know, templates that are here. The one that I usually have is favorite, but it's based off a of homebrew. Say I want ocean, I can click default for that, close this, open this, boom, I have this default here. Or if I want man page, I can just click default, close this and now it will be this. And until you change the default to something else, even if I close this and open it again, it will still be this type of, you know, settings, color, situation. But what if you want to customize it? You don't want, you know, these templates, you're original. You want to, you know, set it up your own way. Well, you can do something called duplicate profile. So of course you can just add one right here, but you know, that's just going to really duplicate this. But if you want to create mine, which is what I have, you know, the pink text and stuff like that, then you can go here to homebrew, go down here to this little gear, duplicate profile. Ba Boom, there it is. And we can click this as our default, we can open this, and boom, see it right there. And open it again, because it closes. And so here we are, we have this little template here, but you know, how do we, we wanna change this a little bit. Well, we have all of these settings over here. If we wanna change the background, we can go to background, you know, change it, and it does it like automatically, like compiles right there, which is awesome. And so I like black, and so we're sticking with black. You can change the font of it. Like you have so many freaking options. Like boom, boom, automatically runtime is right there. I like this font, it's pretty common. You can change the text. So this will actually just change the text for you for whatever you want it to be. I like the green, my favorites. And then the bold text will do stuff later on when you're like doing your commands, but it won't show up right here if I just do CD, blah, blah, blah. It's like not gonna show up, but when you're doing other things, it will. So of course you can make that different if you want. And then selection is just like, what is this little color when I'm selecting a section, what is that? Right now it's that. If I wanted a different color, you know, you just do those things. And so I like hot pink, that's what mine is on my usual settings, and so I'm gonna select that. Here are a bunch of other settings you can do. I always like the use bold fonts because I like it to be you know, in your face. And why well, select the rest of these because I do. And then these colors down here is if you, the reason that they're important is that if you're ever doing games inside of here, like if you do, if you watch the games video where you can pull up Snake in your terminal and stuff like that, these are the colors that game is based off of. And so that's how you can get like this. You can make it all bright colors. And so instead of this red, you might have a bright pink, you know, whatever it might be, but it will basically be the colors of your game that you play in your terminal and other automatic colors that will pop up that aren't these three. And then of course you can change your cursor. You can have the block here, the underline, there it is, you know, the vertical bar. You can customize, you can have it not blink. You could do that, now it doesn't blink. And you can also change the color of it. So the color of mine usually is pink and I like that and it's the block, there we go. Now, what if you want like one color here and another color like as you type. Like right now everything's green and it's kind of, I don't know, hard to read because everything is the same color text. But what if you want like everything over here to be blue and everything over here to be green? Well, we can do that. We can't necessarily do it in this little, you know, profiles here, but we can do it. But before we move on, make sure that whatever settings you want is the default and that it is showing up here. Even if I close this, pop it back open, it's gonna be the same. Now, making things cool. We are gonna go to the internet of great things, and here we are, and we're gonna type in Linux help, and this, I'll put this link down in the description, but basically, custom bash, that's what we want. We want a custom prompt here. And so, blah, 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 has a bunch of instructions, but we don't, we don't care about that. And so basically, what you're doing is, 
from, you're gonna say like, okay, what do you want over here and what color do you want it to be? Like you can change this right now, it says my MacBook Pro, but you can change it to like a different text. And then like you can say what color you want it to be and then again over here, what color you want it to be. And then like, is there a space? Is there not a space? Stuff like that. And so what we are gonna type in is first light red and then I'm Blondie Bites. So of course, Blondie Bites and then colon backslash W, left arrow space, right arrow, left arrow light green, right arrow. So what does this mean? It means I want Blondie Bites to be in light red and then I have this like, you know, backslash W to say, okay, I want like whatever directory I'm in currently to be right here. And so instead of saying like, if I do CD desktop, it should say just desktop or something like that. So it's not like this long list of things. And then we have a space, so it's not directly up against this, you know, dollar sign thing. And so that's why we have the space here. And then what do we want the text to be that we're typing here? We want it to be green. And so this is gonna make this red, this little part right here red, and then the other side green. So how do we do this? Well, we get the prompt, and the prompt is gonna be this thing here. And this thing is amazing. This is gonna make everything pretty. But where do we put it? Well, we have to go back to our home directory. And if you don't know where that is, you can just do CD and then the little tilde, hit enter, and you'll be in your home directory. And I'm sure that's when you initially open this, that's where you end up being, unless you know you do special things, but I don't think you will. Or you would know what the home directory is. And so in here, we're gonna do nano.bash profile. And this just holds special stuff about your thing. This may be empty for you. If it is, that's fine. If you've done, you know, terminal stuff before and it's not, that's also fine. You're just gonna go to the top here and do command V and that's going to paste what was here inside of here. And then you're gonna do control O to save it, hit enter, and then control X to exit. And then now we can close this guy and that's fine. We can open it again. Boom, we have this pink right here. And then we'll type and there it is, and now it shows this little short directory. So if I do CD desktop, notice it says desktop here and not, you know, Catherine Hodge desktop like it said before, which is nice. I only wanna know what I'm in right now, and I can do LS, there's nothing on my desktop. I can go to CD library, LS, there's a bunch of stuff here, and it prints out in green, and that's all fine and dandy, but, what if I don't want this, you know, light pink thing here? I want to go back to like my, my purple here. Well, instead of doing, you know, light red, I could do light blue and it'll give me the purple, even though that's just how this thing works because it doesn't know color. Okay, so if I do light blue and then Blondie Bites is what I want over here. I don't want anything else. And then we'll do the colon backslash W colon, left arrow, space, right arrow, left arrow, light green, right arrow, and then get the prompt. And go down here. Here is our prompt. And now we'll have to go back to our home directory. You can do also CD tilde, like before. And you're just gonna go nano.bash profile, hit enter. This is gonna be here. We're gonna delete this guy, repaste it with our new thing and that doesn't work because terminal is annoying. And so we're just going to start from here and just delete everything here. And then go back over here because I don't know which is the right one because they're very, very similar things, these two things. And we're going, we're going to the end here and we're deleting everything. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste this thing here and it's gonna give customization to our, you know, terminal here and it's gonna be fantastic. We'll do control O, enter control X to get out of there. We gotta kill all terminal and we should probably capitalize terminal. There we go, we can open it. And it kind of freaked out a bit because I did kill all, but we could just exit and then open it again for it to be normalized again. And if this did not work for you, you might have to do source.bash profile and then it should work. Um, sometimes that's to get the settings updated. Before I updated to El Capitan, I did have to do that. Now I don't. So it depends, I think, what update you're on. But after you edit your .bash profile, you might have to do source.bash profile to like know, okay, this is the file that has all of my settings in it is the .bash profile. And there's an underscore in there, but I didn't say it. 
So awesome! Now we have these crazy cool settings. We have this pink highlight, which is awesome. We have this like blondie bites, you know, here and it's blue and it's gray or purple, whatever, you know, it's colors. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it and I hope you have an awesome, you know, terminal window now. And we're switching to Mondays because making videos takes time. And so I will see you next Monday. Bye-bye.